Question. DS. Tom invested $100,000 at a yearly compound interest rate of X percent and another amount of money at a yearly compound interest rate of Y percent. What is the value of X? Condition 1. The other amount of money is $200,000. Condition 2. The total amount of interest earned is 8300 Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. DS, three variables, question. Condition one, one equation. Condition two, one equation. DS question with three variables. Let the original condition in a DS question contain three variables. Now three variables would generally require three equations for us to be able to solve for the variables. We know that each condition would usually give us an equation resulting in a total of two equations, one each from condition one and condition two. However, since we need three equations to match the numbers of variables and equations in the original condition, the unequal number of equations and variables should logically give us an answer E. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the value of X if Tom invested $100,000 at a yearly compound interest rate of X percent and another amount of money at a yearly compound interest rate of Y percent. If we make dollar sign $S equal to the other amount, we will have three variables, X, Y, and S. Don't worry. Just use the variable approach. It takes care of most of the hard work for you. Follow the second and third step. From the original condition, we have three variables, x, y, and s. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need three equations. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, e would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles and choose e as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at both conditions together. Condition 1 tells us that S equals $200,000. And condition 2 tells us that $100,000 times of whole of X over 100 plus dollar sign S times of whole of Y over 100 equals $8,300. Note, compound interest for one year is same as simple interest, so it can be calculated as P times R times T over 100 equals P times R over 100, where P is principal, R is interest rate, and T is time taken. Putting the two equations together, we get $100,000 times of whole X over 100 plus $200,000 times of whole Y over 100 equals 8,300. That is, 1,000 times X plus 2,000 times Y equals 8,300. But we still have two variables and only one equation, so we cannot determine the unique value of x. Consequently, conditions 1 and 2 combined are not sufficient. Wow, this is a quick way to solve the question. You have the advantage of so many others out there studying for the GMAT. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are not sufficient. So E is the correct answer. When there are three variables in the question, it is most likely that E would be the answer. Therefore, always check both the conditions together to save time.